Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And today it's time for another, yeah that's cute and all, but is it dark skin friendly? So today I'm going to be trying out the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. And I've been wanting to try this foundation out for a while because I've heard nothing but good reviews from it. But probably just like you, I saw a commercial from Macy's talking about the product, saying how awesome it was, and also if you bought $25 worth of Estee Lauder products, you get a free makeup bag with some sample products in there. So I took myself down to Macy's and got my product and I got the sample bag, which is really cute. I mean, it's a white woman, but it's still really cute. And it's six sample products in here. And I've never tried any Estee Lauder products at all. So I always wanted to, you know, try them out. I hear lots of good stuff by one of the sample products in here, which is the uh, Advanced Night Repair. So many people talk about this. I was actually with my friend Denise and she was like, oh my God, have you tried this? And I was like, no. And she's like, oh my God, you have to try it. It is so great. I use it all the time. And if you know anything about Denise, her skin is flawless. So I was really excited to try this out. I still haven't tried it and I've had this product for like a week almost a week. So let's get to the actual product which is the Double Wear Foundation. On the commercial they're telling you it's a guaranteed match. Like for any skin tone you're going to guarantee to have a match for your skin tone with this foundation. And I was like oh, okay guarantee. That's what's up. So I went to the Macy's counter. I wanted to see how they were going to guarantee a match for me. And they basically have like this skin ID device. Unfortunately the one I went to 12 bucks small the device was broken so unfortunately I didn't get to have that experience of them matching my skin tone with the foundation so I did the whole like neck test or whatever problem was I did have makeup on and I usually do not go to counters with makeup on if I know I'm gonna buy a product but I was there for a Joe Malone event so of course I wanted my face beat but I figured they were gonna help me out but I did it myself. They were really busy at the counter, so I did it myself. And I had two different foundations. To make a long story short, I think I bought the wrong foundation. I think this is it's too dark for me. This is the Rich Mahogany 6CT. But I think I'm, I should have got Espresso. I think that's what it's called. But it's all good. Like, I feel like I can get away with this. I mean, I'm wearing it right now. I'm wearing it right now. I don't think it looks too bad. It does, it really, like, it matches. I feel like it matches me. But when I initially put it on, it does look a little dark. So, you guys are going to see, you know, all of that. But, just want to tell you guys a little bit about this foundation before I get to my reviews. Y'all know how I do. On the site it says it delivers flawless 15 hour staying power and it is natural looking for carefree coverage. Lightweight, oil free and buildable formula. It doesn't change color leaving your makeup looking as fresh as when you first applied it. So now that you know what it does I'm going to take you to my first and second day impressions and then I'm going to come back and tell you guys what I feel about the product. Uh-oh, I think I got the wrong color. Is it really darker? Look up at the same. It's darker than your neck and your chest. Look to the left. Look to the right. See what blends in with you. It's not that bad. Well, it's, it's dark. You look dark. I mean, look how dark it is on your hand. Here you go. Okay, 
so this is what my makeup is looking like 10 o'clock this is what it's looking like it looks good i'm surprised it doesn't look crazy oily right now um i'm about to just go out i've been in the house working all day long and i was supposed to leave the house earlier but that's what happens when you get to editing so yeah does it still look dark i don't think it looks too dark no. Maybe I'll keep it. We shall see. Say hi. He's been watching all the games today. And see the tournament. <laughs> so it is now 12.45. I just got back home from running a lot of errands and going to three grocery stores. So this is the makeup. I think it looks really good having been on for nine almost 10 hours which is crazy i usually don't wear makeup this long in fact i'm actually ready to take it off with some makeup wipes but yeah um i like it so this is the first day first impressions and we'll see what i think tomorrow i'm gonna give it another go all right let's blend all this in I'm using the viewfinder as my mirror. I know I don't like when YouTubers do that, but this is a first impression of a video, so it shouldn't matter all that much. And I use two concealers because I just think it gives me a flawless look. Like a more flawless look if I was just to use like a correcting concealer by itself. So obviously I don't need to use two concealers, but when I'm going for like a flawless look that's when i use two concealers all right so this is my base it's not all the way blended in but that's fine all right so now i'm gonna put on the foundation and i have the door open so if you hear birds and stuff sorry about that but i think it just sounds so relaxing anywho i'm gonna put this all over my face i'm not going anywhere today so the test of this is just gonna be walking the dog because <laughs> i did everything on the weekend. I don't have nowhere to go. A friend wanted me to go to Ulta. I was like, nope. This is definitely darker than me, but I feel like in the summertime, this is going to be my color. So I'm still on the fence about taking it back. Let's zoom you in. So I'm just going to put like a little dusting of MAC Mineralized Skin Finish on my face and I use this to set my foundation. I'm not going to put on any highlighting concealer or anything like that because I just don't care to. And I'll, I'm just going to put like a little, little blush, no contour because who cares? So it's about four hours later. We ended up going to Redbox and get the big short, which we're watching right now. So I don't know what I look like because I'm not in front of a mirror, but I will have my final thoughts in, in about an hour and a half when this goes off. And here comes Ronnie. Derek just took him out. So yeah, I'll have my final thoughts later with how I feel about this. Okay, it's almost 4 o'clock in the morning. I am so tired. I don't know what my makeup looks like, but I checked it like four hours ago and it looked really good. This is what it looks like. Okay. So I'm wearing the product right now. This is the third day in a row that I'm wearing this product. And it's been about five hours since I've had this product on. And I have to say, I like the way it looks. I'm going to look in the viewfinder. Um, I do have like a ton of highlighter on right now. But I really do love this product. Like seriously. It stays all day 
long. It doesn't like melt off the face. I mean, we haven't had any like really ridiculous hot days here in Michigan. But even when I'm out and about, it still stays put as if I'm just sitting down on the couch chilling, watching The Good Wife. Like, I absolutely love this product. I like that it gives me medium coverage, but it's still very light. I can see myself not having to repurchase another bottle of this for a few years because I'm only using just a little bit of product and it still feels like there's nothing on my face. Usually when I'm wearing makeup, I can't wait to get home to take it off because it just feels like I'm wearing makeup and I don't like that feeling. I just like clean face, especially if I'm just relaxing at the end of the day, watching YouTube, watching TV reading a book like I don't want to have that feeling of makeup on me but with this stuff I can easily just fall asleep not supposed to fall asleep in your makeup I know that I'm just saying like with this stuff you just don't feel like you're wearing any makeup and I love that about this product the only negative like literally the only negative I have about this product is the packaging they do not have a pump what the heck I hate having to put this on my skin I'm usually wasting the product but I, I mean I've used it three times now I feel like I got it down packed to how much I should just like apply but I hate that it doesn't have a pump another product that doesn't have a pump is the NARS sheer glow foundation but you can buy a pump and I did just that I think the pump was like three or five dollars I got it from Nordstrom I had to buy it online because they don't even sell it at the counter which is so annoying but I feel like, you know, you're spending enough money on the product itself. I'm sure this was more than $38. That product is $38. That's enough alone to spend on a foundation. I don't want to have to spend extra for what already should have came with it. And another thing I can't stand about this. I, again, I don't know if Estee Lauder does have pumps that you can buy. If they do, I'm going to buy it. But when I bought the pump, I, I was mad because the top now doesn't fit on the pump. So if Estee Lauder does have a pump, I'm going to buy it. I just hope that the top for the product, oh, this is the top. So I know it ain't going to fit. <laughs> I know it ain't going to fit. But they just need to do better. I mean, what foundations don't have, most of the foundations don't have pumps now or tubes or something where it's easier to take out of the bottle. So I'm not, I'm not happy with that at all. But the, the makeup itself is phenomenal. $38 well spent. Let me know what you guys think. I do have to mention one more thing though. So, when I was going to buy this product initially, I was going to go to Sephora. Because Sephora is everything you got to spend. I think it's $200 each year to keep your VIB status. I was trying to get to VIB Rouge. I don't know if that's going to happen. But, I was going to buy that Sephora, but when I went there, they only had a couple brown shades. And I was, I thought that was really interesting because on the web, on the commercial, it says it's guaranteed to find a shade that fits you. But it's only like three or four dark shades. And I'm like, there's more than three or four dark skin tones in the world. So, what is that all about? So, I was like, well, I'll just go to Macy's, you know, maybe... Sephora is limited because usually Sephora is limited like I went to a couple Sephora's before and they say oh well you have to go just counter because we don't have that shade or whatever so I was like okay whatever but today I went to the Sephora app to check on the shade skin and they were there so I don't know if this is like the new thing that's going on now where brands are finally recognizing black women and are going to it you know extending their shade line for us like Neutrogena I'm sure you guys seen the commercial with Kerry Washington talking about now how they ex extended their shades or expanded their shade range or whatever it was they said because she's the ambassador and I guess she like brought it to their attention that hello y'all only got like one shade for dark skin and that don't even whatever okay and then another brand that recently just did the same thing was Tarte um, I even did a review on Tarte's concealer like a few years ago and their concealer that I was using as a highlighting concealer was the darkest concealer they had. So, I don't know how y'all feel about that. I get kind of irritated. A lot of people are saying, you know, that's a good thing because they're finally recognizing black women and now we have more makeup options to choose from. Other people are a little upset saying, yeah, that's great and all, but these brands are not new. They've been around for years. Why haven't they recognized us then? Why are they just now starting to cater to black women? 
So let me know what you guys think about that. I mean, if I had known that that's the... I mean, I still don't know if it's true. I don't know if they just extended it or whatever. But if they did, I don't know if I would have bought this foundation. But nevertheless, I'm glad I did because I love it. So let me know what you guys think about this. Let me know what you guys think about brands now catering to black women. Let me know if you actually tried the products and let me know if you liked it or not. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to end it here. I will see you guys tomorrow with a yay or nay video. Bye guys. I always have pet hair in my hair. God, Ronix just shit like crazy. But even when I'm Ronnie! Hey! But even when I'm going <laughs>